tugs at your heartstrings aren't nearly so practical as tugs at their moorings on Scotland's River Clyde. They're the sturdy boats, with engines of roughly 1,400 horsepower, that do the donkey work on river and sea. The skipper of this tug has received orders to tow a new boat down river on her maiden voyage, from fitting out basin to open sea, and the aft deck is clear to allow the tow rope free action. The greatest care must be taken to see that everything is taut and trim, or any breakaway might mean thousands of pounds worth of damage, and the skipper is responsible. The skippers at the telegraph, all ropes are made and ready, and a close watch is kept on last minute adjustments. The coils slip round the capstan, and the little tug slowly manoeuvres her charge into position. Heading a large boat for the busy river is a painstaking job, and there must be no error of judgment. At last we're away, with each man at his station as the tug coaxes her big modern sister into the main channel of the river. The tug boatmen of the Clyde are as hardy as their boats. Fine weather tan types doing a hard job well. When the tug's underway and it's full speed ahead, the crew carry on with their tasks. A spot of paint never comes amiss on a tugboat. That's what the skipper thinks, anyhow. The tugs of the Clyde have had another busy day. <laughs>